music is something like a bridge lah. The taco actually, uh, taco is uh, actually a reverse form of kota um, Lyrics, like a beautiful lyrics might come in my mind, but uh, usually they come in uh, English language. <laughs> so later I... I personally find like in chi form. Now, you know, I have a segment. Uh, I call it Members Profile as you are two of you here. So if you could tell me, you know, like, what did you learn about each other while working uh, together? <laughs> um, a good team is really important. And I learned that from meeting with Tako. Uh, meeting him was like um, a dream that uh, I was finding for a long time like having someone that really understands who I am as a person and having someone that takes everything that I say seriously and into a creative formula. So um, our ideas are really crazy <laughs> and sometimes our ideas like if we share it to someone else then they, may, they, may, they might think that we are ill or something <laughs> like that okay. and uh, but not between us. La. For between us whatever we say we take it seriously and we want to be creative with it and yeah uh, by meeting Tako I must say that I learned to work in a team and I realized that everything that I imagined is real okay. uh, uh, while I was I mean uh, after meeting him so it was like a team come true uh, uh, it was like a breakthrough for me to look because of him uh logdira bomeyanzo and so many these three songs are the songs that i have uh, written while i was in college okay. so it is all produced by him and as well as uh it gave me opportunities to showcase myself uh through him because he's quite uh very creative when it comes to making music so uh and what i learned from him was that uh He's not uh, not only good in making uh, music, la. he's very good in editing, designing, oh, wow. and uh, he's very uh, talented in online courses. And he even, oh. yeah. So through that, I can <laughs> take inspiration that okay. not only uh, you uh, you are not uh, we should always try to uh, perf uh, uh, we should always try to learn everything and anything we can, la. because not only. We have to learn everything or everything and anything we can so that uh, it will benefit us at the end. And he gave uh, his, uh, I mean, he's very inspiring uh, as a friend, as a, a producer. And uh, he gave me so many lessons uh, like uh, when it comes in music, so what I should do, what I should not do, okay. and what are the things uh, that I should uh, try to. Ins uh, Try to, uh, try to put in my songs like, while, uh, while I write. Like, he also act uh, as a mentor to me. Like. Okay. And again, another uh, Tandy Poops, uh, and the Tandy Poops, then Duba, and some other my friends. Like, so they are also very inspiring. And I think I think we all inspire one to uh, one to another like, because okay. we are in same circle. So I think. Uh, so I think it's like you guys hearing you guys bring the best in each other i think right yes yeah, yeah. so yeah and i think uh, it's very important to have a friend who really understands our crazy ideas right yeah, that's everything yeah that's so everything. i think uh, it was you guys are meant to be you know uh, you guys met in short college and now you guys are uh, friends for a lifetime right yeah, yeah. <laughs> i guess yeah. So. <laughs> yeah so that's very great you know that's very good to see that you guys are appreciative of each other's effort and you also take inspiration from each other and advice alike right <coughs> so with this we'll take in the next song Yeah. 
watching me the spotlight and that was Bumi Yazo, a wonderful song by Karma and Lungten and uh, you know like uh, being someone who really loves to sing and what is your favorite part of the you know the job I would say not being able to sleep at night um, showing creativity every like I mean being creative every time seeing beautiful things everywhere we go um, these are some of the things I love when it comes to singing. Okay. Inspirations are everywhere. Uh, if you are put in a very empty room, nothing else, just um, like maybe a plain light and all, all about the walls, you can write a song about it and you can sing about it. This, that's the beauty of singing. Okay. Uh, it doesn't need anything. It doesn't need anything other than um, a true passion to sing. And um, my, uh, my other favorite part is about meeting beautiful people. Okay. So. Yeah, just as an example, the taco I've been mentioning all of, uh, again. Uh, so meeting beautiful people, learning about them, their stories, hearing their stories, and writing another song about them. Like, it's also one of the uh, one of the favorite part I have when it comes to singing. Okay, how about karma? Uh, for me, uh, uh, when it uh, for me. Uh, when it comes to, when it comes to rapping, so I find myself uh, lost because every time I practice in my room, okay. so uh, when it tires, uh, when it swells my throat, and uh, when it tires my diaphragm, okay. until it goes to that extent, I keep on rapping. So I feel uh, I feel free, and I feel uh, that I'm in some 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 other place, like some other beautiful place, and that only I can go. Okay. So I try to. Uh, take my rap as my getaway. Okay, so you get kicks from this type of thing, right? Okay, and now we know like um, being a singer in Bhutan, what are some of the challenges? Um, the first thing is in Bhutan, uh, singing is not a job. <laughs> uh, I mean, a sustainable career okay. in Bhutan, it isn't. Um, but I must say, as long as you love singing, um, those are just um, like um, secondary things that we should care about. Okay. The first thing is about music and loving the music is about the, it's the first thing. So that's the challenge number one about um, uh, not music not being a career in Bhutan. Okay. And the second one is that. Um, <coughs> uh, it is really difficult to get our songs, uh, get our songs on the stage. La. Okay. I mean, uh, if we are, yeah, if we are trying to sing something unique, and we, if we try to be very true to our own art, 
then there won't be any listeners. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, in Bhutan, we are really preserved and we are preserved to our own genre. There is a certain genre that uh, people in Bhutan love uh, and there's no one to blame about it like, because um, uh, because new things are really uh, difficult to familiarize with. So that's uh, challenge number two. Like, it's um, We can't be true to our own art because there won't be any audiences. And the third one is that uh, uh, when we want to record a song or something like that, we have to approach a studio and we have to pay for them and we have to record. Like, and uh, there could be someone very talented. Like, I must say, I must admit that there will be thousands and thousands more talented who can write more songs, more beautiful songs that I can, who is living somewhere in the remote places in our country and who cannot come out. La. And um, yeah, that's the third challenge. La. They can't show uh, their own talent. They can't show the world who they are as a person because in Bhutan, uh, music is taken something as like a business for the record recording studios. La. So, uh, so as for that challenge, I want to say something to the people, say something to them. La. So, um, as far as I can, I really want to help people who are residing over the remote places, the youth, the children who want to record songs, want to produce for them. Like, I'm really here for you, even if I can't do it myself, um, I'll, I'll make sure I make a small effort into taking into uh, making your songs heard by the people in the country. Oh, okay. So that's a very beautiful thing you said. You know, like you're there for them. I think you just mentioning that you are there for them. I think it would be a great relief for somebody who is holding back because of financial burden. And I really hope, you know, they come and approach you. Yeah, uh, and uh, I mean, every social media networks, Facebook, Instagram, even recently, I made a TikTok, <laughs> but okay. I don't use it. <laughs> I don't use it. I don't know how to use it. Uh, so I must tell all the youth who want to come out to like approach me. I am, I guess I'm. I'm being approachable as far as I can uh, tell about myself and uh, about the youth. I just want to say, keep writing your songs. Be true to your own art. One day, um, you will get out of the cocoon and you will be there in your dream. Because being a boy like myself, who was there in Trash Yangtze, the eastern mo most part of our country, um, knowing nothing about the music, but loving it so much that I want to be there. Um, I know the struggle. I know the struggle. I know, every, uh, I know everything that it takes to come here right now. I'm in music spotlight. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a beautiful dream. It's a long journey. I just yeah, want to okay. help them. I want to be there for them. So. Uh, approach to me that's all i want to say okay so viewers uh, his message is very loud and clear so if you want somebody who wants you know if you want to produce your music and if you have songs which you want to be which you want to put out so you can get all the help from lungten uh want you and i also hope our karma Shira will also <laughs> render his full support and uh, as you mentioned the issues of financial burden and how you cannot stay stay true to your art i think it's one of the biggest obstacle uh, obstacle right now right of course not. for of course. our creative um, mind in our country but i really hope you know like in next uh, three four years we might see a change we might yeah. <laughs> i guess yeah due yeah. to rapid changes in yeah. the music industry in bhutan yes. yeah right so now how about uh, karma uh, you know like you mentioned that you want to take uh, you want the rapping to be your profession, right? Yes. Sir. So, where do you see yourself, you know, in next five or ten years? Uh, I, I actually uh, find myself uh, chasing the dreams, I still. <laughs> because uh, I try to, uh, what I try to uh, always tell myself is that uh, whenever I'm into a rap, so I know, uh, I tend to make it so uh, general, general that it is it can be fit in every places, la, not only in Bhutan. Okay. So in Bhutan, I try to rap in Zongkha and as well as in English, but I keep the minimal English la, in my song when I'm when I'm rapping in Zongkha. La. But when it comes to English genre, so English, so I try to rap whole uh, song lyrics. I, I write all in English. La. 
I do not uh, add a zong, single zonko word okay. because okay. I'm uh, right now I'm testing myself so, okay. so that it can uh, it can benefit me in the future. So, okay. but when it comes to Bhutan right now, the the current situation, so we usually don't get such opportunities like other artists, okay. and still we are still a uh, lear beginner and uh, learning uh, learning new techniques uh, watching more youtube videos okay. how to rap well uh, and honing our skills okay. so i think uh, to rise here in bhutan itself so i i find it quite challenging okay so <laughs> so as we are talking about the issues and the obstacles that you are facing and you're facing and our uh, singers right now they they also have similar issues right so now if you could tell me you know what kind of opportunities would you like to be given um, <clears throat> so it would be uh, very good if Bhutan have a record recording label okay. um, who a company who would give our youth a chance to record their songs uh, and uh, give them a platform to express their art and like take them on musical tours maybe people of Bhutan might really support I feel that and I think Bhutanese youth are really talented and if we give a little chance a little stage a little platform um, then I think they can take it by storm yeah right I really hope you know like just as you mentioned like uh, if we could have a record level I think our Bhutanese singers and artists alike can compete at international level. I truly believe that because our youth nowadays they are very talented but they hold back because of um, platform, limited platforms and as we mentioned financial burden, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, it's, the issues are similar, right? Yes. And the solution could be similar as well, right? So with this, we'll take in the next song.
spotlight and that was shingil hamo a beautiful song by lungtan manchu and karma sherap so uh, i uh, i know that lungtan you collaborated with zona wangchen right yes yeah. so how jatin. yeah so how did jatin happen uh, the song jatin it was written in mid 2015 the summer of 2015 and during that time i did not know anything about going to a studio and recording stuff so um i it, the song was just there in my phone like as a sample and um i completed my class 12 and then during the winter break i was in thimphu uh during that time sona wang chen uh texted me on facebook he said um if you have any songs like i would be happy to help make a music and record for it and okay. i said yeah there are a couple of songs and i sent him like um three to four songs and he and i said you can choose any one of it and we can get it recorded and oh, okay. he chose jatin uh he said he likes that out of the out of all the songs that i've sent to him so i went to his home and um we made a music uh, jatin okay. uh, like i must say that it wasn't recorded in a, a fully fledged professional music studio oh okay it, it was done with the very minimal equipment um like that's kind of inspiration to us that's how it started and um it's not about the devices at the end of the day the song uh it like if you really want to do it no matter what you have you have to make the best use of it and that was about jason and yeah after after some time um the song was complete and then i texted him i'm going to release it now i guess it's time and then uh, it was put on my name uh, okay. uh, my uh, me featuring sona wangchen so yeah he was happy about it and yeah that's how the song uh, oh, okay. got about it okay considering you put in lot of efforts and uh, making good use of what you had so i think it's a pretty amazing song thank you <laughs> because uh <laughs> it's not about the quality of the sound i guess it's the quality of the song but i'm not <laughs> boosting myself that the song is good but i must say uh the equipments are just a secondary thoughts of it the song has to be focused on first yeah, but it's a very amazing song indeed thank you and um and do you have any plans to co- collaborate with him in future or uh yes la sona mongchen and i kind of share same taste in music and we also share same sense of genre that we are working on um it's developing every time and then we are developing towards a same goal same genre i think so yeah um in the near future uh, i guess i should really collaborate with him because we get along well and we kind of lost uh, touch over after some time because uh, she was in he went to his high school and i went to my college and yeah we couldn't collaborate but i think we will because uh, of our sameness in taste and genre okay so there's possibility yes, for you guys to collaborate again yes la. and and we'll look forward to your amazing songs again thank you la. and for karma do you have anyone whom you want to collaborate with um uh, yes la. uh uh it uh Buddhist artist key yeah. Uh, yeah when it comes to Buddhist artist like, so I I would be very uh happy if I could collaborate with uh Anala uh oh, okay. the, yeah, he's very hardcore rapper uh, when okay. it comes to Buddhist industry and he's very uh real he, uh he, the bars he always uh spit uh, I mean the bars he write <laughs> with the okay. right in his lyrics he uh, it is very realistic i f- i can feel him and uh asuke zongdoji oh, okay. uh, oh yeah and um 
even with a killer wong show yeah so with so many rappers i would like to collaborate and w with singers it would be great with uh i feel uh karma you didn't know oh, yeah okay, okay. she's also a rapper oh. so and uh some other uh artists like uh uh, it would be uh, cool if I could collaborate with Kile Wong Chula. Actually. He's okay. also a rapper. Tam oh, okay. rapper. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. Okay. So you have lots of yeah. people in yeah. mind. In, yes. Okay. And I hope you know, uh, if you see, uh, if you watch this music spotlight, please uh, please feel free to reach out to Karma Sharaf. He's ever ready to collaborate with you guys. So with this, we'll take in the next song. And now if you could tell me, you know, like, I know that you guys are very passionate about singing and rapping, but you got to have some hobbies, right? So when you're not singing, what do you do? Uh, uh, besides uh, singing or rapping, uh, I like to play football. Okay. So uh, uh, we are also again in the same team, oh, okay. uh, FC Lingpala. Oh, okay. So uh, we have a, a team with of our own. Oh, okay. So friends, Football all our team. yes, like, okay. all our group friends and all our some. Uh, I mean, we are all like uh, uh, brothers, okay. So we sometimes stay in one room. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like we share the same bond. Okay. So we okay. usually play football, okay. and uh, that's all. Uh, we only <laughs> football. Okay. Football. Okay. Yes. How about Lung Ben? <clears throat> um, I think I'm a man of so many hobbies <laughs> because okay. um, I love so many things, la. Uh, the first thing would be football, as he mentioned. We have a team and we play football. I'm no good at it, but I love it. <laughs> and uh, okay. <laughs> that could be one hobby. Um, uh, the second one would be reading books. Like, um, books is everything. And I guess um, that's one of my hobbies. Okay. Uh, the third one would be traveling. Okay. I really love traveling. And Bhutan 
I, I feel so lucky to be born in Bhutan because there are a lot of beautiful places that I can uh, visit, I can travel. Um, uh, and uh, the fourth one would be coffee. <laughs> coffee. I guess that could be one co- uh, that could be one hobby too okay. because uh, I love the culture of uh, coffee and how oh, they am- okay. how they are made, uh, what brings uh, what brings them to our society and how it brings people together. Okay. Uh, just because of that simple drink. Oh, okay. I'm really passionate about okay. it. So, yeah. So, uh, as Lungten mentioned his love for coffee, I think in the future we might see a barista Lungten as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you know, like, uh, now if you could tell me, uh, do you have any plans for new songs or an album? <coughs> uh, yes, la. Okay. Um, so, um, we are trying to uh, produce uh, an album okay. which will have around five to six songs and all of the songs like we are collaborating okay. like it's me featuring him or he featuring me like okay. yeah we are making it together okay. so a whole album so it cannot also be called an album it can be called an ep okay. uh, so we are producing an ep like but yeah i don't know when but like I, we are planning on it okay. and also um i'm planning to release my um, next album, next uh, like uh, after Mitakpa. Okay. So yeah, I cannot say when, but yeah, it's really happening. Okay. And um, we have our songs ready. Uh, it's written, but it's not recorded yet. Okay. And we hope to release it at, as soon as possible in a very right time. And I hope that um, I get the same support I got for my previous songs. And I must say. Uh, uh, Taku will always be there and okay. uh, we hope that we get the support from the people okay. that we got for our previous songs. Okay. So you can drop the album anytime, I think, because you have the song ready, right? Uh, so yes, you might drop it anytime. Yeah, as soon as it's recorded. Okay, so we'll be on a lookout for your new album. <laughs> Thank <And> you. <laughs> as much as I enjoyed your songs, you know, previous songs, I'm 100% sure that I'll enjoy your next album as well. But um, it's incorporating very different genre than what I used to sing okay. in my previous album. So okay. it's uh, it's kind of a shift. It's kind okay. of I, I consider it as a development as an artist to go to a whole new genre, a whole new style of singing. But I'm looking forward to the change and how okay. people are reacting to it. Okay, and more reason for something new to look out for, right? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. So with this, we'll take in the next song. Let's 
discovering new happy place. Bhutan happiness is a place, a place to celebrate your heart. Then we get caught. Ricky can be men, John. God in Chevy, ne do. Shala can sink her more. That was either then we get caught by Lungton Wachu. And now, you know, we are almost at the end of our show. So, do you have anything, you know, you want to say to our viewers? And if you could uh, send a a word of encouragement to our youth. Okay. Um, so, the first thing I want to say is um, about Yudha Dembe Gekha, the song, uh, we want to give a shout out to Eureka Expeditions. It's oh, a travel okay. agent. It's a travel agent in Bhutan. Um, so, they have been sponsoring us for a lot of times, oh, okay. Takwa and myself. So, we want to give them a big shout out. And this song, Yudha Dembe Gekha, is for uh, their company. Oh, okay. And um, the second thing I want to say is about mental health okay. to our youth. La. So uh, it's a very critical time in the history of our world that we must care more about our mental health just as we care about our physical health. And uh, whether you are a student, whether you are working somewhere in a company, whoever you are, mental health is really important for the productivity, for, um, yeah, basically for to live a happy life, to live a life with meaning. Um, yeah, Mental health is really important. Whatever you do, uh, I hope that uh, you all are surrounded by people who really appreciate you and um, cut the negativity from uh, your own soul, like ego, anger, try to keep it minimal as possible. And I hope that you care about your mental health uh, so much that um, people see you uh, brighter than you were before you hear me talking uh, talking about it but i hope that um uh, yeah it's really easy to talk about it i mean i mean it's really easy to it's easier said than done i can say it but um i don't know how much it can help you but i wish that um you become a happier you tomorrow and uh, just a minute after uh, this show ends and um, after I see the message. La. And the third one is that as as a singer, I mean as a passionate, like aspiring singer who wants to be a singer, as a boy who grew up from nothing and yeah, grew up in a very remote place, like it, it had been a very long journey. So I want to say to youth, no matter how big your dream is, la, um, there's nothing called a dream too big and there's nothing called a man too small. <laughs> so I want to say that keep your dream alive. Uh, let no one interfere in what you want to do. La. As long as it's a good thing you want to do. Um, and I want to say that you should keep fighting for what you really want. And if you really want it, it will happen. La. That's all I want to say. And uh, yeah, my friend Taku might also have something to say. Uh, for me as such, I don't have anything to say because uh, we never know what other people are doing until and unless we get into their shoes. Okay. So, but there's a, always a common phase we all go through. Uh, it's like uh, there will be some situation where you will be feel where you will feel stressed out, and where you will feel that nothing is going to work out. So I I, I want to uh, t tell you that just keep on pushing yourself. Uh, because there's uh, one theory of 40% rule. So you you are, uh, when you think that you are almost done, it means you are only 40% done. Okay. So you have to push yourself. And uh, I think if you always uh, try to push yourself and if you always dedicate yourself to whatever you do, not only in singing or rapping, whatever you do, so it will always find a way. So because there's also some kind of uh, law of attraction kind of thing. So yeah. it will always uh, attract you. It will always take take you where you belong. Okay. So that's all. I have. So that's it. Yeah, that's okay, it. So that's a very powerful message from Lungten and Karma. And I 
I really feel that it's very important to be kinder to ourselves, right? And at the end of the day, you should be a bit kinder to yourself and love yourself more and surround yourself with positive persons, right? Yeah, positive vibes. So that was a very, you know, like this whole segment was a very, uh, I would say, it, it was a very enriching one for me as well. And it, it was an honor to, you know, have you guys on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having us. So lastly, to all our viewers, um, we really hope that you keep supporting our music and uh, you be kind to yourself, care about your mental health and yeah, peace out. Okay. And to our viewers, thank you so much for joining us. Please show love and support for Lungten and Karma and they will be releasing their album very soon, I believe. And please show your support and don't forget to support our local bands too. For more updates, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and we also have our videos on YouTube. For now, we will leave you with a beautiful song by Karma and Lungten. Enjoy the performance, keep watching Music Spotlight, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Taco. LWK. We love you wholeheartedly, dedicatedly to Ganga Sena, Mepim Dingagi, Shed the Build the Changachi Kadeni, Labdangi Sem Katesum Chapme Chelu, Me, the young Achinomi Zumbi Jat Supase, Atara Dongu Gazum Jat Supase. ちょっと見ながら出てきて、ちょっと見ながら出てきて、ちょっと見ながら出てきて、ちょっと見ながら出てきて、ちょっと見ながら出てきて、ちょっと見ながら出てきて、ちょっと見ながら出てきて、ち